Welcome to this video, which I'm going to run through a hip flexor stretch as well as the quads. It's a very basic stretch, which you may have done before, but just to give you some of the key cue points, but also variations in position. So you normally would do this in standing, which certainly you can do, but you can also do it in side lying if you find it very difficult to bring your foot up behind you. So bringing yourself onto your side, you can lie down and then you're going to take a hold of that ankle from in front. Depending on how your foot feels, you could hold from the toes, but for some people that's going to bring a cramp. So you could hold from the ankle and then what you're going to do is try to draw that leg further behind. The bottom leg is wherever it feels supportive for you and rest the head down. So what you're looking for is that that knee isn't all the way up. That's a very tight quad and hip flexor. So you want to try to encourage that knee down and then you're trying to pull the leg further behind. But what I want you to keep an awareness of is the shape of your back. So when we're doing any stretches, I don't want you to feel like your back is going into an arch. I want you to draw your tailbone down and pull your tummy muscles in so you're trying to go for a flat back. And that way then it increases the length of the hip flexors at the highest point of attachment. So if you're able to draw the leg behind and you're thinking about keeping that length in through the front of the body, it should draw the stretch a little bit higher on the hip. And as you draw the foot further behind, it's not that the knee can't go behind the line of the hip, it certainly can, if your range will allow you. But you're holding it at a point where it feels like you're getting a suitable level of stretch, not pain. Again, always going short of that sensation of pain, but finding the stretch that's going to feel like it's lengthening the tissues. You're holding, you're waiting for it to ease. What it does, maybe go further. Maybe that's flattening the back a little bit more. Maybe it's pulling the foot further behind. And again, you hold and wait for that to ease. And if you can do that three times, then hopefully we've got a certain amount of length back in for those tissues. So that's one variation. You can also come onto your tummy, which will help you to keep this flat and open hip position. But I still want you not to be in an arch position. I want you to think about trying to drop your tailbone down so that your core is still active as you take the foot up behind. If you find that hard to do, you can start on your side, keep a hold of the foot and roll onto your tummy. But again, you're taking the foot in as close towards the bottom as you can. If that's difficult, wrap a band or a belt or something around the foot so that you've got something to pull on to try to bring the leg to where you can feel the stretch appropriate for you. But once we're there, again, you've got the stretch, you've got the flat back, and maybe you're able to pull to get the knee off. But again, you have to find your own level. So that's going to bring in that stretch into the front of the thigh. Another variation is pretzel. Now with pretzel, you're going to be stretching the quad on the bottom leg. So when we get into position, you want to be able to have the top leg in front and you're going to take that bottom ankle. You then try to pull that foot back. Same idea, you're trying to get your knee more in line with your hip. And then from there, you can use the top hand to take a hold of that knee. So that you're pulling, if you roll further forwards, it's like we've just done the, the flat line position, you've got that quad stretch, now that's the stronger version. If you want it softer, you roll onto your back. So again, you're still trying to pull that thigh, that right one, into the stretch. And the more you pull your knee up, the more that will also increase the stretch. And that goes for both positions. If you're lying further forward, the higher up your knee goes, the more you, you, you will feel that stretch. And you can relax the head down, maybe you need cushions or blocks to set the head on, depending if you feel like that's straining and you can't get your, your head to the floor. So again, you hold until it eases, and then maybe you go for two further increases within that stretching, that, that full duration of hold. No set time limit, just wait for what your body tells you that it eases. So hopefully you find this useful. Let me know any feedback and if you have any other suggestions for videos then get in contact. Thanks for watching.